everyone, I am Jessica Skelly. I am a member of YA Fiction Freaks, the new YouTube channel, podcast, and Facebook page. We've been talking a while about how we're going to start making videos and start making podcasts, and we haven't really got around to it yet, but we are finally getting around to it. So first, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit why, about why I like to read. Basically, reading to me was just something that I did. I have been reading since I was probably about four, and I can't actually I cannot actually remember my first book or my first chapter book because just reading was like that important to me. I would do it all the time. And when I went to Kroger's, instead of buying a toy, I would buy a book or a pen and a pad of paper to write my own book. And movies helped me want to read a lot because there was those two types of movies for my age. There was the movies where the girl was really preppy and everyone hated her and she changed into something better. And then there was the movies that where they the unique girl always got like was the happiest in the end. And I'm like, okay, I want to be that girl. I want to be the girl that knows her own heart and does what she likes to do. And a part of that girl was being smart, which also just came with reading. And then after I got into reading, I loved it. Now, I didn't start reading young adult fiction until Twilight came out. I mostly read classics, Jane Eyre, anything by Jane Austen, Moby Dick, just the classics. And then Twilight came out. And Gina's actually the one who told Angie about Twilight because she saw it on Borders. And then Angie said, you have to read this book. And I'm like, oh, man, it's going to be one of those books where the girl is just going to be swept up and it's going to be stupid. It's going to be another one of those stupid young adult books. And then I found out that young adult books really are not like that. They, like, some of them are, of course. The ones made for, like, preteens are not stupid, but not the kind of books that I wanted to read. But Twilight introduced me to the older adult, young adult books. And so, I've been hooked ever since. Now, I went on a Borders haul the other day, and I posted on our Facebook channel that I would make a video about it. This is my first video. I'm really getting used to my MacBook and using iMovie on my MacBook. But I will go ahead and get started. My first book is Untamed by PC and Kristen Cast. Kristen Cast is actually PC Cast's daughter, I think. And that's what the inside looks like. The font is pretty big. Or pretty, pretty small. Untamed is the fourth novel in the House of Night novels. They're pretty good. I've read Mark, Betrayed, and Chosen. Obviously, those are the first three. And Chosen wasn't really as good as Marked and Betrayed, but it was worth reading. I will go ahead and read it back to you. It says, Life sucks when your friends are pissed at you. Just ask Zoe Redbird. She's become an expert on suckiness. In one week, she has gone from having three boyfriends to having none, from having a close group of friends who trusted and supported her to being an outcast. Speaking of friends, of the two Zoe has left, one is undead and one is unmarked. And Nefere, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure, has declared war on humans, which Zoe knows in her heart is wrong. But will anyone listen to her? Zoe's adventures at Vampire Finishing School take a wild and dangerous turn as loyalties are tested, shocking true intentions come to light, and an ancient evil is awakened in PC and Kristen's cast's spellbinding fourth House of Night novel. So, pretty good. There it is again. Another book I got was Vampire Academy. I am pretty sure that this is the first book in this series. The back kind of makes it sound a little bit like it's not, but I'm not sure. So I will go ahead and read you here. This that's the cover again. It's by Rochelle Mead. There's the inside. And it says Lisa Dragomir is a Mori princess, a mortal vampire with a rare gift for harnessing the earth's magic. She must be protected at all times from the Strigoi. I don't know how to pronounce that. It's S-T-R-I-G-O-I. -I. If you know how to pronounce it, comment below. The fiercest vampires, the ones who never die. The powerful blend of human and vampire blood that flows through Rose Hathaway, Lisa's best friend, makes her a, a dampire. Dampire? D-H-A-M-P-I-R. Again, comment below if you know how. 
Rose is dedicated dedicated to a dangerous life of protecting Lisa from the Strigoi, who are hell-bent on making Lisa one of them. So, that looks pretty good. I saw good reviews about it on Borders.com. Okay, this is the hardback book that I bought, and normally I do not buy hardback books, but this one looked really good, and they didn't have it in paperback. So, it's by Lauren Kate. It's called Fallen, as you can see. The back says, what if the person you were meant to be with could never be yours? And this looks really good. We posted something about this on our Facebook page. I don't know if any of you saw it, but the little inside cover thing says, there's something strange and achingly familiar about Daniel Gregory. Mysterious and aloof, he captures Luce Price's attention from the moment she sees him on her first day at Swarden Cross Boarding School in Savannah. He's one bright spy in a place where cell phones are forbidden and other students are screw-ups. And security cameras watch every move. Except Daniel wants nothing to do with Luce. He goes out of his way to make that very clear. But she can't let it go. Drawn to him like a moth to a flame, Luce has to find out what Daniel is so desperate to keep secret. Eagerly exciting and darkly, roman darkly romantic, Fallen is a page-turning thriller and the ultimate love story. So, pretty good. Another book I bought was... Dun, 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 City of Bones by Cassandra Clare. Now, I've already read this book, but I borrowed Gina's. And this is just a series that you have to have. I love this book. It has the hot man on the cover, Jace. I was very attracted to this. And this is the first installment of the Mortal Instruments, which are very good reads. There are vampires in it, <clears throat> but it's not like another mushy love story like Vampire. I have never, or Twilight, I have never read a book like this. And this is good. And it says, the Mortal Instruments series is a story world that I would love to live in. By Stephanie Meyer. So... <clears throat> That's how we got onto it. <clears throat> I'll read the back. When Clary Frey finds walk, heads out to Pandemonium Club in New York City, she hardly expects to witness a murder, much less a murder committed by three teenagers covered with odd markings. This is Clary's first meeting with the Shadow Hunters, warriors dedicated to ridding the earth of demons and keeping the odd werewolves and vampires in line. It's also her first meeting with gorgeous, golden-haired Jace. Within 24 hours, Clary is pulled into Jace's world with a vengeance when her mother disappears and Clary herself is attacked by a demon. But why would demons be interested in an ordinary mundane like Clary? And how did she suddenly get the sight? The Shadow Hunters would like to know. So, this is a really good book. If you've not read it, I recommend getting it. We are actually doing a podcast on this whole series tonight, and it should be posted by Monday if we can figure out how to work the podcasting thingy. My final book that I got, it was free, actually, because Borders has this thing where if you buy four young adult books, you get a fifth free. I didn't know this when they told me at the counter, but it is called The Summoning. You can see the shiny little gem on there. It's by Kelly Armstrong. This one struck me as different because if you, after I read the back, you'll notice it's not about vampires. It's not about werewolves. It's about ghosts, and I haven't read a good ghost book yet, so this is what the inside looks like. Pretty cool. You know, it, all these books open well. That's why I like paperback so much better than I like hardback. But back up says, she sees dead people, and they see her. Chloe Saunders used to have a pretty normal life, but that changed on the day she met her first ghost. Locked up in Lyle House, a group home for troubled teens, she finds out that there's more to a home's teen residence than meets the eye. Will Chloe be able to uncover the dangerous secrets of Lyle House, or will its skeletons come back to haunt her? The thrilling first volume in Supernaturally Charged Darkest Power series by international bestseller, the best-selling author, Kelly Armstrong, will keep readers awake well into the darkest time of night. So, I'll tell you how this is. I think these are actually the books that I'm going to be reading for my book challenge. Gina has challenged herself to one book a month. I think that's what she challenged herself to. But she has work and kids. I just have work in school, so I can read five a month. This one, I've already read City of Bones. Fallen, again, Vampire Academy. Untamed. There you go. And I guess I'm going to have to find a fifth one to read. But that is my book challenge. So, thanks everybody. I'm really glad to have you watch my videos. See ya!